This is a dua the Prophet Ibrahim salam said in privacy when he left his family in a place no one will leave their family unless order from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But he prayed in secret for them, just like many parents do. Sometimes our children, they make their own path in life. And we don't know what will happen to them. But they have reached the age when they have to deal with their own actions. We can only remain advisors to them because they have grown up. All you can do to wish them the best and pray for them for the most important. And that was the dua of the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. Oh my Lord, Rabbi inni askantu min dhuriyati biwadin ghayri di zara'in inda baytikal muharram. Oh my Lord, I left my family in a valley where there is no vegetation, no plants, no food, nothing. But it doesn't matter as long as they take care of their salat. If you live with your salat, you have everything else you need. Rabbana li yuqimu salat. Oh Allah, for them to establish their salat, fajal afidatan min al nasi tahwi ilayhim. And make some hearts of mankind aiming them or longing to be with them. And truly it happened. Makkah is populated now. But the first citizen of the city of Makkah is Ibrahim's wife and his son Ismail. And then a tribe from Yemen, Jurhum, joined them, and we know what Makkah is today, the capital city of the believers. And then he prays for his family, for his kids, and for those who died, and for his parents. And this is the best we can remember for our parents when they are gone. It is a month of dua, and we always are encouraged to make dua. Inna al-ladhina yastakbiruna an ibadati sayadkuluna jahannam adakhirin. Those people who are arrogant to ask me and make dua for, to me, that behavior will cause them to end being one of the doulans of jahannam. Because once I feel like I don't need Allah, I'm satisfied with something else, this is a plea that will take me to Jahannam. So we are learning to learn as usual. Every Ramadan, we follow the footsteps of Muhammad Iqbal, in which he taught us how to talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by following the footsteps of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. So what he said here, Ya Rabb, and this is the title, Oh my Lord, Sa'idni ala an akula kalimat al haq Help me to tell the truth. You know, sometimes we know the truth, but we are weak to say it. We need the strength and we need divine support to be able sometimes to speak truth to power. Because the person who is supposed to talk to and tell the truth are stronger. And fear can make us hesitate. We ask Allah for that not to happen. Help us to, to say what is right. And Akula Kilimat al Haq fi wajhil Akuya. Help me to tell the truth in the face of the strong ones. Wala Akulul Batil. And I don't want to say what is wrong. The Aksi Batasfika Duafa. So the weak people can upload for me. Sometimes we choose what is easy to say because the masses and the crowd, they love that. But when we tell the truth, they may turn everything against us. But we have to tell uh, the truth. Ya Rabb, O oh my Lord, إِذَا أَعْطَيْتَنِي مَالًا لَا تَأْخُذْ سَعَادَتِي If you give me wealth, and you made me wealthy, don't take my happiness away. Because sometimes we think happiness is in the wealth. And we spend our youth, our life all looking for that wealth and then we die in misery and live a miserable life. So, oh Allah, if you give me wealth, don't deprive me from happiness. Why the a'atwaitani quwwatan la ta'kul akli? And if you give me strength and power, make me wise enough to know how to use this power so I don't use it to abuse other people. Make me wise in that. Why the a'atwaitani najahan 
latter half of Tawajuai. And if you give me success in this life, I become a successful person. Help me to remain humble, not to become proud over other people. Why the Altaitani Tawajuan Lata Hud Eatizadi become Karamati? And if you give me humbleness, don't let me go so far to become weak, thinking that I'm humble, but actually I am coward. I don't want to be like that. Ya Rabb, O my Lord, Sahidni ala an ara an nahiyat al ukhra min al sura. Help me to see the other side of the moon. Not only the bright side, but also the other side. Help me to see the good, the good side of the people who I think they are bad. Help me to see the bad side of me, myself, when I think I am good. Because you left the people see only my good side, but you didn't let them see my bad side. But let me see that, so I don't become proud and think that I am better than other people. وَلَا تَدَعْنِي أَتَّهِمُ خُسُومِي بِأَنَّهُمْ خَوَنَا And don't let me start accusing those people who are against me that they are disloyal and they are traitors to me. لِأَنَّهُمْ اِخْتَلَفُوا مَعِي فِي الرَّعِي Just because they oppose my opinion and they have different opinion than mine. Don't let me start accusing them and belittling them and sometimes even goes further. Just because someone have different opinions, we start to hate them. And a believer's heart should never be like that. The Sahaba have different opinions, but they never hate one another because it's nothing to do with your opinion, it is to do with the truth. And they all used to look for the truth. Ya Rabb, O my Lord, alimni an uhibba nas kama uhibbu nafsi. Give me the knowledge that will make me love the people the way I love myself. I don't want to be selfish. Everything good just for me. Everything positive just for me. I want to love other people just like the way I love myself. And also to take myself into accountability the way I take others into accountability. Ya Rabb, O my Lord, la tada'ni usabu bil ghurur idha najahtu. Don't let me get into deception, deceive myself just because I am successful and become arrogant due to that. And I start to think I am better than those people because my job is better, or I get more income, or I have more knowledge, all of this is a test. And in case I fail in achieving what I want to achieve, don't make me hopeless. Because once we feel hopelessness, we will stop trying. And once we stop trying, we will never move anymore. But Rather, remind me every day that Annal Fashal huwa tajruba alladi tasbiqun najaa That failure is the experience we go through before we succeed and before we pass. So every failure is a bridge for us to retry again. And, and if we have been pushing the door and not opening, all we need to do maybe, just pull it instead. But we should never lose our hope. Ya Rabb, O oh my Lord, alimni anna tasamu let me know that and give me the knowledge that will make me realize hardening and let it go and forgiving is the highest rank of power if you can forgive you are really a powerful human being and loving revenge is the first sentence and signs of weakness only when we have weakness Somebody kick, we kick back. They say bad will, we say because this is a sign of weakness. We should grow above all of that. <laughs> ya Rabb, O oh my Lord, Ita jarratani min al mal. If you strip me from wealth and I am poor, I have no money. Utrukli al amal. Live in my heart hope so I don't become hopeless and give up. Keep on trying until I earn. Because money is like the vein in which our blood is running. We really need money. And if you strip me from success, keep me stubborn so I can keep on trying so I will overcome and defeat failure but never give up. Keep me stubborn in that. Don't give up. 
If you strip me from health and you test me with sickness and disease, if my body is sick, don't make my soul sick. Keep Iman with me. Fatrukli ni'matan Iman. And don't take the blessing of faith uh, away from me. Qat yafshalul insanu fi amalihi ahyanam. Sometimes we fail in what we do. Walakin la yulkinu i'atibaruhu fashidan. Illa idha bada ayulkin lawma ala bayri. But we should not consider somebody as a failure until they start pointing fingers and blaming other people because of their failure. We can fail in life, but when we fail, we keep on trying. Ya Rabb, O my Lord, Ida asatu ila nas, if I misbehave to the people and I make a mistake or do something wrong to them, a'atini shaja'atan i'atitha, give me the power enough to say to them, I'm sorry, it is my mistake. I want to be brave enough to admit when I'm on the wrong side and say to the people, I'm sorry. But when people do wrong to me and make mistakes towards me, give me the power of forgiveness so I can pardon them and let it go. Ya Rabb, oh my Lord, if my memory becomes weak due to sickness or old age or any other reason, and I have to forget things. Fadani answer, nas. Let me only forget the wrong thing people have done to me. Wala answer is But if anyone in this world once did something good to me, please make me not to forget that. So I remember the good part of them and keep the ties and the brotherhood. Ya Rab, oh my Lord, Ida Fakatu Sodiri. If I lose my friends due to me becoming bad or my behavior have changed and they turn away from me, give me the power of good character so I become good again. Hatta I studied the woman Jadid so I can reclaim my friends back into my life who left me because I became a bad person. Ya Rabb, oh my Lord, Ida Maritu. If I get sick, don't make me become a burden on those people I love and those who love me. Make it easy for me and make it easy for them. We know the moment of sickness is very difficult on ourselves and on the people who are looking after us. But we don't want to go into that state. And finally he said, Ya Rabb, Ida Nasitu Kafalatan If I forget you, please don't forget me because sometimes some things in this life make us forget Allah. And sometimes by the time we remember him, it is too late. So we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in case we do forget him, please don't forget us. Uh, and in case anything caused us to, for the remembrance of Allah to go away, we pray to him not to forget us at all. This is very really important. So that's to Kaira for that May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Cool our hearts down and put us back to the valley where He wants to see us, and that is the valley of Ibadah. And learn that we have one chance only to show to one another how good we are, and this is now. We may not meet one another tomorrow or next Ramadan, so we will never let Shaitan win, but we will win over him, especially in this time of month, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil